All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for joining me on another beautiful day. It's been a while since I made a video and I'm pretty excited to show you guys this one. This is something that I've loved for a long time. I have multiple, I have another car. I have a 1973 Camaro. I have motorcycles. I have my Yamaha MT-07. I had my silver NC700X for a long time, but this is one of those cars. This has been like a dream car for me, but a lot of people may not understand it. So I'm gonna show you it. I hope you guys like it. It's definitely different from the uh, Camaro and the motorcycles I have. So I hope you guys like it. Let's go check it out. Now for my favorite toy in the whole world, the foam cannon. Freaking love this thing so much. Can we follow you around? Yeah. You can just watch it. Right. Okay. <laughs> I love how much joy this brings you to wash your car. You wanna wash my car next? Sure. <laughs> So yeah, to say I love the phone cannon is a bit of an understatement. It might be the most satisfying thing uh, I've ever seen on the planet. I will use it every single time now. I love it. All right, now that she's all clean, meet my 1989 BMW E30 325iS. So my love for this car has came a long time ago. I've looked for one of these bad boys for 10 years now. I'm 25, I wanted one in high school. What I wanted to do is like work on it as a senior project, but it's, I'll tell you, it's really hard to find a clean one. And I finally, after about 10 years, I finally, finally found a clean one. All right, I pull out the GoPro because this is just way easier. So check the interior out. I've always wanted a black interior, black leather interior, 89. So the 89, the reason I wanted 89 is because they now have the plastic bumper instead of the ugly metal bumpers that they had pre-89 and 88. So if you know anything about these cars, you know these come with a uh, pretty brittle dash and after 30 some years, this dash is freaking gorgeous. Like not a crack on it, not even close. Like it feels still, in very good shape, which is nice. The only thing I have a problem with this car is, is that it's an automatic. I've never wanted an automatic and I kind of shunned these that, have, that are automatics, but it is super hard to find a car. I mean, this clean, I use this blanket to cover the dash in the sun. Yeah, it's a little dated and faded, but someone took really good care of this car. I always wanted one with the wing windows. I did not want a power sunroof, but this one works sometimes, which is pretty dang rare. I've had this car about a month now, and when I first got it, this was unplugged, and I was like, that is weird. I didn't know it was unplugged at the time. I figured it went out, I needed to replace it or whatnot, but I, I took this out of here, and you can just plug it back in. And when I did, I understood why you unplugged it, because Every, almost every damn light on was, was on in this thing. Coolant, washer fluid, low beam, brake light, rear lights, and license plate lights. And I was like, what the hell? This thing is a freaking lemon. And I looked in the dash, we have a check engine light on. Well, when you start it, uh, you also have the brake lighting light on, which that's a pretty common problem and it's something that I'll get rid of sooner or later. So I'm working on the check engine light. I've Damn near replaced every light in the car, so low beams are fine. I've replaced all the brake lights, the license plate light. I replaced these headliner lights, which these didn't work when I got the car, but they were also unplugged, which I thought was odd because there's a lot of different things in this car that were unplugged. But now everything's plugged back in and it seems to be working. It shocked me because this is an 89. 
replaced the side markers on this with LED ones that look there. These are clear. They used to be yellow. So they look, I don't know, to me, in my opinion, they look badass. So I replaced the fog lights with aftermarket ones and LED bulbs in there. And now they both work and they look sick. So this car had a lot of rust or let's just say a lot of rust in the trunk. All this is putty or something that's really bad and gross. And right here is the battery box. So water gets in here from here, which they just shoved putty in here to make it kind of stop leaking, but it still leaks. Battery box is here. Battery is underneath that. There's rust here in all of these crevices, which it's not that bad. I've seen much worse and this is fixable. I'm gonna take it to a body shop to see what it would cost. So it basically runs along the trunk line. We have rust here underneath the taillight and then right here, which goes, literally I can stick my finger into the trunk and touch the battery, which is not good. So there's a lot of little things that need to be done to this car to make it perfect, but that's kind of the fun part of it. I want it to look like it just came off the showroom floor with my own touches on it. And so I, when I found one, but this one I found in Moses Lake and 
I had to go look at it. I texted one of my buddies, who's a car guy, absolutely, and he's. I asked him, like, hey man, will you go with me and look at this car? I, You know I've loved him, and he's. he knows I'm a huge E30 fan. And so we drove out to Moses Lake, and I test drove this car, and I was absolutely blown away how nice this car drove. It drives brand new. Like, I let my hands off the wheel, it drives straight, the brakes feel good, it's quiet in here, there's no creaks or cracks or anything like that. Everything is so solid. It didn't seem like, it seemed like it was hiding a bunch of little things, but since I've owned it, there's really nothing, man. Like, I've just gone through it and fixed a lot of little things, like I was saying, lights and different relays and uh, hopefully fixing the rust. But a lot of little things to get it perfect because I want this car just to be like my daily driver. I don't want it to, I guess I can't, I don't want it perfect because then I don't want to drive it. And that's the problem with the Camaro is if anything ever happens to that car, well, I can't replace that car for what I paid for it. Now they're just so over the rocket, over the moon, it's expensive, that it's just hard to justify driving it. And especially it's expensive to drive and it's not comfortable and it's kind of sketchy because it needs a lot of work. This car, I drive it, I've been driving it every day to work and or if I'm driving the bike. I drive this or I ride the motorcycle, the FZ07. And I just love this car to death. I want to, I just, there's so many little things I want to do to it. The first thing, I really want to manual swap it, but that's going to cost like two grand. And I want to do the work myself, which is, I'm cool with that. I don't mind doing it. I want to learn that kind of thing. I've never, I've never swapped a transmission or anything like that before. I've done a lot of little things on cars just because I love to do it. But I'd love to manual swap this car, but right now it just drives so nice. I don't really, like, it... I don't want to take it apart so I can't drive it. But also my girlfriend and my mom had driven this car and they, they actually loved it. My, I remember my mom as a kid telling me that these, these BMWs are just awful. Like, why would I ever want one? Because it just looks like a freaking box, right? I don't know. To me, it just has a different... I have a different feel about it. I just, I just love it. I don't know what it is about it, but it just, it just gets me different. It just hits me a little bit different. And when I see people out and I'm driving and they're like, dang, that is super nice. Like they're like, heck yeah, nice car. I'm like, okay, good. Maybe it's not just me. And obviously it's not just me because these cars sell on freaking bring a trailer for 30 grand. Like this car, if it was manual, like I said, I paid four grand. If this car was a manual being as clean as it is, I guarantee this would be a $10,000 car, guaranteed because it's just so clean. <laughs> so one thing that's kind of nice, the, uh, the previous owner did put an exhaust on it. Like I said, he also cut the springs on it. So he did a lot of little things, but he didn't, he did it right. Like the exhaust sounds good. It's held up nice. It's not the best tuck. So sometimes it does scrape, but this car being as low as it is, it really doesn't drive too bad. Like over bumps and whatnot, I really don't have a problem getting into parking lots or, or anything like that. It just drives nice and I'm just, every day I'm blown away how, how nice this car is. Yeah, I just love this car guys. I really hope you do too. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna get some shots with it. I wish I brought the drum. Oh, that would've been so sick. But I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna get some beauty shots with the car because I really haven't taken any photos. I haven't, I haven't uh, announced it on Instagram or anything like that. So I really hope you guys like the car. This is my absolute baby. I've been loving every minute of ownership with this car. But that's it for the day, guys. Enjoy these beauty shots. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And subscribe if uh, you want to see more of this content. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.